Okay, hello, this is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, and on the line is Jeremy Slackmaster De No Joy from Minky Soda. But first, we have the exciting news in Sacramento, and there's a video on KCRA. Amazon driver takes a dump in front of a Sacramento home. And this guy showed up. And I want to know, was it Amazon Prime or Amazon Regular? And did, you know, did the guy have to pay for Prime to get this special delivery for his package? This guy just took a huge dump. There's a video on KCRA Channel 3 in Sacramento. And then the Amazon, this is a contract employee. The guy's super, supervisor shows up. Five hours later, with no way to clean up the mess, he pushed into the street <laughs> and didn't have any gloves, didn't have a baggie, didn't have a pooper scooper, <laughs> and the owner of the house had to remove the, the huge pile of, uh, you know, of mess, and Amazon sent a, a, a comment, this is not live up to our our high standards, and this driver no longer works for Amazon delivery. I think they're more like low standards. <laughs> so that, other than the big quake, the 4.2 that was felt all the way up and down the eastern seaboard, <laughs> this is the big story of the day. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. All right, Jeremy, how are you? Good evening, George. I'm doing well. How are you? Well, like I said, I'm 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 laughing. We were gonna do our NFL pick, and then I get this email, and I'm going like, "Oh my God!" Now I think the guy made a big mistake. He should have gathered up the poop, put it in the prime box, and got Amazon to send him when he got his package. I need a return label and ship the poop to Amazon. That's what I would have done. Free two day delivery. That's right. It's illegal, but I would have sent the poop and said, here, you, your driver left it, you clean up the mess. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but I want to know if the driver was delivering a prime package or uh, a regular package. Do you pay extra for the special poop Amazon service? So... <laughs> well, I, I must say, uh, I did order something from Amazon today. So uh, I hope I don't receive the same treatment. Yeah, the guy will poop on your porch. <laughs> <laughs> I sure hope not. I hope they don't have moose delivery. You could have a really large, large gift box. You know? <laughs> anyway, how is this? I never thought we'd be talking about this. How was your Thanksgiving? <laughs> <clears throat> uh, you know, the Thanksgiving was good. Just did, uh, hang out with the family, did the turkey, did the food, watched the football. It was a good, successful night. It was good to see my whole family again. Oh, I was <laughs> wrong. The earthquake uh, felt from New York City to Baltimore was a 5.1. That's a pretty big quake. Uh, they get more freaked out about it than... Uh, out here, but for the East Coast, that's pretty big, and it was centered in Delaware, I think. Well, we got turkeys, and we got turkeys. Now, I made my turkey a couple weeks ago, and turkey or something made me sick last Friday. I got a Thanksgiving after dinner, after Thanksgiving plate, and I got deathly ill from it. But then we have another kind of turkey called Dak Prescott. As <laughs> Thursday night football... The guy that can't score in three consecutive games, he set an all-time Dallas record less than 10 points, been sacked, I think, five times. And they're talking on one video, the whole video, about 15 minutes was all Dallas. Not one. It's like the Redskins didn't exist. These guys are obsessed with the Dallas Cowgirls. This ain't the Roger Staubach era. It ain't Tom Landry. This guy sucks. And so we got the Redskins and the Cowgirls tonight, and I want the Redskins to win because as much as I don't like Philadelphia, Philadelphia the Eagles will clinch the division. So what's your opinion on this game tonight? All right, uh, Redskins-Cowboys, a famed rivalry um, division game here, and I'm 
obviously, uh, both of these teams, when they play each other, tend to come to play and generally play hard. Now, I'm kind of worried about the Cowboys at this point. Um, ever since Elliott got suspended, they haven't been the same team. Their offensive line isn't the dominant force it was last season. And like you mentioned, uh, Dak Prescott's kind of running with his head cut off. He's not making good decisions. He's not really leading the offense. He really needs to be the, the answer on offense in uh, Elliott's, um, while Elliott is suspended, and he hasn't been that. So that's a huge problem for the Cowboys, and it's the reason that they've skid uh, week after week, and they're dropping games and not scoring points. On the other side of the ball, you got the Redskins, and uh, Skins are a pretty well-balanced team. They have an above-average offensive line. They have a really good defense, and... Uh, Kirk Cousins is putting up the normal Kirk Cousins-like numbers. I, I can't believe they haven't signed him to a long-term contract yet. So, just looking at it um, from that perspective, I think the Redskins have the serious edge. I mean, their playoff hopes seem to be more alive than Dallas is, even though both teams are five and six. Um, my money's going on the Redskins tonight because they're just a better overall team. They're gelling better. They're playing better. Uh, Dallas looks confused, and I'm starting to wonder if uh, Prescott is really anything without, you know, Ezekiel Elliott and the top three offensive line. He's so far shown that he hasn't done anything. And that Dallas defense is, it's not quite as good, you know. Um, they're not playing all that well. Uh, the Redskins' offensive line is going to be able to shut down their strength, which is a Dallas defensive line. And Kirk Cousins is going to be throwing post patterns and fly routes all night. Now, I don't really know that it's going to be a blowout in favor of the Redskins. Generally a close game between these two teams. But, yeah, the Redskins are going to win this one. Well, maybe what the, the Cowgirls need to do is call the White House and ask for President Donald J. Trump and say, we need a pardon for Elliott and for Dak Prescott. Because he pardoned two turkeys last week. Maybe he can pardon two more. I will pick the Redskins as well. All right. This is George Senna, the guy from Pittsburgh, with the stinky game of the month. <laughs> in fact, this entire video is all about stinkiness. And uh, Jeremy Nojoy, who um, cornered the market on uh, Fruit Loops, for Thanksgiving and was uh, firing them with slingshots at neighbors they passed by uh, to uh, run off some of the uh, stuffing and gravy and dressing and potatoes. So um, <laughs> I hope you have a good weekend and we'll do this again for Sunday and don't be a slacker this time. Uh, tell the kids <laughs> to stay home and uh, or sell, you're going to sell them off into bondage. You're going to make them cowboy players or Cowboys fans, and that will humiliate them enough that they'll stay away. All right. <laughs> Have a great evening, and I will. This is George Senna, the guy from Pittsburgh. Stay warm and safe out there, and watch out for falling rocks and falling turkeys from either earthquakes or uh, wherever the hell they play with the cow, cowgirls. Bye bye for now. Bye bye, Jeremy Nojoy. <laughs>